All right, guys, so the devil is on my fucking back. Oh, just got over the cold. I had the most, I don't even know, actually, at this point. I may have, basically, it turns out I had the fucking flu. Last night was so miserable. It, it is so miserable. And it's hit me just in time, like, right after leg day, too. Like, I can barely walk already as it is with the legs. Like, my calves are so fucking sore. I ha It makes walking so hard. It's like everything hurts twice as much right now because I have the flu. So I'm stuck at home. Nothing to do. I need to take three days off of work. Just started taking medicine. I spent a lot of money at the doctor. Some money on medicine. I can't really go out and do anything. I really want to fucking smoke. I got a lot of weed. But I'm not going to fucking do it. I'm just going to lay down. Spending all my money because I'm about to door dash some food. Like, I feel like it's just going to break the habit. Put a delay in everything. Look at Ducky! I think he's holding his legs. Ducky! Ducky boo-boos! So me and Taco are going to cuddle. Hopefully I'll feel better soon. Uh... Last night was so miserable. I threw up twice. I got nausea medicine. I think it's why I'm throwing up because I was just nauseous. It's been so hard for me to get up out of bed. I'm so stiff and sore. Like, just the fact that I'm so sore has made everything ten times fucking harder. I know damn well that thermometer I've been using is broken. It never says you have a fever. Ever. It said my, when I feel like I had a fucking awful fever... Took the temperature and it said 95 degrees. So I know that thing's full of shit. I've been, I've had my suspicions, but this confirms it. And every time I, I check, Amy's like, oh, see, you're not even sick. You're not even sick. You're not even sick. Amy hasn't believed. I've, the three years I've been with Amy, there's not been a single time that she's believed me that I'm sick. For some reason, every single time I'm sick, she thinks I'm faking and uh, this is some fucking proof. Finally got my ass up and went to the doctor. I normally never go to the doctor when I'm feeling like shit. I'm just like, oh, I get over it. But after last night, oh, I was so miserable. It was the most painful throw up I've ever thrown up. Like, it felt in my chest. I was like, oh, it was, oh, oh, fuck. So, now I got no sleep while she slept like a baby. Then now I'm gonna have to go pick her up. And, uh. Yeah. I feel very tempted to smoke. I wanna eat some good food and enjoy my days off and smoke. And I feel like I'm ending the habit, the good habits already, and they're already ended. I didn't do shit yesterday because I felt so sick. I feel so sick today, but you just gotta understand. We can get these rest days, but the devil, in the end, he got me sick because he wants me to cave and end it all. All the good things I've done and all the good habits I've created, or they're not even habit yet. In about two weeks, they're going to be habit. Three weeks. They're going to solidify as habit. It takes six weeks to create a good habit. But yeah, I can't cave now. Very tempting, but I'm just going to lay in bed and just let time pass and get through this. And I'm not going to enjoy this. I can't enjoy it or I'll really break the good habit. So yeah, I'm just going to keep you all updated. I really want to order some food. I'm so hungry, but I haven't eaten since. Like, I only ate, drank a protein shake yesterday and then my stomach was hurting. Which is, like, w weird because it started with my stomach hurting, but I guess, you know, that cold I had last week might have been the flu. And, like, I had a fever, fe a fever a few times last week. And I just kind of blew it off. I was like, oh, I feel better, and I did. I just drink some coffee, get up, move around, and I feel better, and I did. And I, but, I mean, I was, I, I had a stuffy nose, coughing, and sore throat, but. 
Now here I am. I don't really have. I have a little bit of stuffy nose still. Still like getting over the cold. Or like I said, I don't know. I really don't want to get out of bed and get on my computer and work. I need to. I have no energy. I got no sleep and I've had no food and I'm losing weight. I'm dying slowly. I just keep reminding myself that the devil is after my ass because something great relies around the corner. This shit ain't gonna be easy. But yeah. I'll see y'all later today. Oh, and I just took my tam some Tamiflu. Hopefully that starts kicking its ass and ASAP. And I'll feel better ASAP. I'm really hoping. I'm really fucking hoping. I think it's made me tired and drowsy. Well, I'm just fucking tired. All right, guys. This took me a like four hour nap. I think it might go. Take me another. Go ahead and take me another nap. I'm doing nothing right now. I just in full recovery mode. Gatorade. I need to get back on my feet ASAP. I need to get rested. My my body just needs all the rest it can get. I'm just gonna. Full on, just I'm gonna stop pushing myself for just a little bit because I feel like that's what got me to this point. It's just never giving myself rest or anything. But here we go. All right, guys. So just uploading this vlog, vlog number nine. Most I was just watching the most two productive days of my life. Man, man, I feel like shit. <laughs> So I've been sick all day today, all day yesterday. I'm not going back to work for like two or three more days. Fucking flu, I can't do shit. <sighs> it's just stressing me out. Stressing me out. This is really hard. Like talking about put a spoke in my tire. This is gonna be hard to get through. I know I'm wearing this hoodie a lot in like all of my videos, but I put this hoodie on after I've showered and bathe and I just use it to stay warm while I work on, you know, my laptop or computer and put my gym shark outfit on. It's a great outfit. But fuck, dude, this flu is killing me. Um, right now I feel okay because I just took some medicine. And I finally got up, like, all day today I was literally doing nothing. And I finally got up and just got on my computer at least and i done the Shopify thing for a little bit and edited and uploaded a vlog. It was better than doing nothing, but it was hard for me to even get up and do that. Ah, and like my calves right now. Like, remember I said I hit calves and quads hard? Well, when I've been stuck in bed all day, they just tighten up. They haven't been stretched at all, so I can barely walk. I'm just stretching, trying to walk right now. Like, they were so dead. It's like they healed. Or they're healing without being stretched, so it's like extra tight and it hurts. It just hurts so bad to walk. So yeah, I want to beat this fucking flu quick. I'm really worried that I'm gonna. It's gonna be really. Hard. It's gonna be hard for me. I'm gonna like. I was like three weeks into this habit of creating good habit of staying productive all day every day. Just to get fucking socked in the face of this flu. It's definitely the devil after me. He's like, hell no, it ain't gonna be that easy. So I'm basically... I'm probably gonna have to restart the six weeks. Of, you know, it takes six weeks to create a habit. <sighs> so I gotta basically restart is what I'm assuming. And I can't even start now. Like, right now I'm kind of motivated, but... I already know I'm gonna have to wake up feeling like shit tomorrow. Even if I don't feel like shit, I just don't feel like I should even go to the gym. Or anything, because I just don't want to give this to anybody else. Like, I could probably go to work. Like, just the way I'm feeling. Well, I don't know. I feel like shit all day today. I'm just saying I feel uh, okay to go to work, because right now, I just took medicine. I took Tamiflu, some Advil, some nausea medicine, ate, drank some Gatorade. I'm walking around the house, getting some stretches in. Just stretching my calves because they're fucking tight as fuck. And yeah, getting to vlog in. I'm just ready to get back into action. I don't want to 
it's just basically it's just it's stopping the whole flow and i've said this already i'm repeating myself but yeah clearly under attack right now by the devil it's kind of just gonna eat this shit up, let time go by, and then we're gonna have to jump right back into that cold water. Cold showers. Literally cold showers, and then work. I work a lot, make up for these days I haven't worked and just been spending my money. Yeah, get back in the gym, eating more. I can barely eat right now. I have zero appetite. Definitely gonna lose probably about five pounds at least. Oh, and I just worked up to gain five pounds. Oh. It's basically a slap in the face that all progress, progress, or most progress is lost. Now, if that ain't clear as fuck that the devil is after me, I don't know what it is, but I'm pissed. I'm pissed. And the only thing to do, I need to channel this anger into fucking coming back stronger. But right now, I feel this way. I mean, like I said, for sitting in, at being stuck at home for another two, three days, like it's the third right now, and I'm not clear to go back to the sixth. Which honestly, I don't know if I trust doctors anyway. <sighs> Man, after yeah, after you know, sitting at home for two or three more days, I don't know where my motivation is gonna be. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be fucking hard, but we're gonna do this shit. And I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna go back to sleep. I slept all day long. And uh, woke up for just a little bit. And I'm gonna go to sleep again. I'm tired. I have no energy, but like I was like not really taking care of myself. I was, I mean, I was. I was working hard and going to the gym and eating a lot and everything, but I wasn't allowing my body to rest, especially when I had the cold. But like I said, I don't know if it was the cold or the flu, and I just didn't know I had the flu at that point. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't giving myself any rest, so now I'm just giving myself some rest. I need it, clearly, because I'm still tired after sleeping all day long. I'm really fucking with my haircut, though. Too bad, by the time I get back to out and doing shit, it's gonna be, like, grown out. But, yeah, you know, keep getting haircuts now. Like a bill, a new bill, because I think it's worth it. I like this haircut. And, uh, yeah, there's chocolate on my hand, by the way. I was eating, a. Uh, protein bar couldn't really eat anything else and half of a burrito almost threw up because I was so sick of eating it and I forced myself to eat a little protein bar and that's all I've eaten today so yeah let me brush my teeth I'm sorry for the low energy vlog because you're just gonna have to I mean yeah my channel's gonna have to take the hit just as much as I am everything I got a fifth subscriber though shout out to whoever that is I'm steady growing and I love that shit. It motivated me to upload the video today. So shout out to whoever you are. Shout out to all my subscribers. I love y'all. Shout out to everyone who's watching my videos. I love y'all. <sighs> yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. What up, gang? So uh, just gonna get a few days in advance. I already have like two days of vlog footage to upload still. So I love when my camera just turns off so I can play some music. Oh. Um, I went to Chipotle, I got chips, drink, and this barbacoa burrito, all for the low price of $7.14. Today was my lucky day. So, uh, you may be wondering how a burrito is like $9.50 like or something like that by itself well uh they forgot to charge me for my burrito the dude i mean i tried to tell him but <clears throat> i was like they kind of get chips and a drink too after they they had made my burrito he comes out of nowhere like we're all sitting waiting we checked out they just keep making shit and no one's paying for it all, we're all waiting to pay cashier comes out starts ringing everybody up comes to me i'm like hey, can i get chips and a drink too so like, yeah i'm getting I, he gives me it, rings me up. He's like, that'll be 714. I was like, uh, I got a burrito too. And he was like, your burrito's in here, boss. I was like, all right. And I paid, yeah, I happily paid for it. And I walked out, walked my happy ass out that store with a free burrito. Gotta love it. Mm. 
normally. Oh, and I heard him talking about it. I was like, I think I heard him. I was grabbing when I was filling my drink up. I was like, did you give him a superhero? And then a mad dash for the door. And now I'm eating that.